an evil night. However, you got to love our new security system. This was built by the Look and Lock Company, the same people who put dead bolts on Fort Knox, the mother of all banks. Got a parcel here from Ma Dalton for her kitties. Goody, that's my favorite cake. Uh-uh. Oh. I'll keep the hardware. It's not as if they can crack the most sophisticated security system in the world with an old file. <laughs> well, no, there's Avril. Huh? Avril, get inside right now. I'm not finished my stone. Just give me a few more minutes. Uh-oh. He's sparkly, like a giant firefly. I swear one day I'll tear apart this penitentiary stone by stone! Off the top of my head, I'd say roughly 12,368 stones make up this penitentiary. And since the average time needed to break one stone is 12 hours 20 minutes, your task could take about 96,000 days working every day from dawn to dusk. You okay, Avril? Follow me. This idiot thinks he can crack a state-of-the-art security. Keeps the noise down. Well, look at that. The lightning made him smart. Now, wait a minute. I'm the smart Dalton. He's just... weird. Hmm. Each and every system gives a million clues to its internal structure. A little brain power does the rest. Yeah, well, I just about had it figured out. Now, come on, Joe. You know how your brain misfires when you get all riled up. Maybe, but who's the boss here? I'm the boss. <laughs> Better get used to it, Joey. The system's impregnable, you say? And it wasn't even Jimmy or tinkered with. Could someone who knew the system have helped? Only candy comes with those pretty colors. <laughs> An employee, you looking lock? Impossible. I'll go to their headquarters in Brain Valley. I said I'll go. I heard you. I'll go. What are we supposed to do now? Same as always. We steal a bunch of guns and we plunder Robin Village. No, no, no. We're done with these small time punks. We're gonna strike out. We out. Fort Knox! Fort Knox? What do we use for weapons? We'll use brains, Joe. You mean Joe's? No, my brain! Oh no! My neck's too short to reach! Will it eventually dawn on him to go under the rail? Somehow I think not. <laughs> No news of the Daltons. Always a bad sign. Rent and dumb. Uh, remind me why we're all wearing different outfits, Avril? Nothing's better at spreading confusion than assuming new identities, such as that enraged little dwarf. A dwarf, am I? <laughs> Inside the look and lock offices are the security plans for Fort Knox. We steal the plans and the gold is all ours. Uh, no, I mean mountains of gold. Sounds cool. Zero violence, 100% green matter. I'll tell you if Ma knew about this, she'd have a good option. Hmm? Lucky Luke, Lucky Luke's down there. And we're
we're unarmed. We should have gotten guns. No, you doofus. Don't you know that's the surest way in the world to get ourselves caught? Hey, cut that out. And if you're so clever, how come Luke's lurking around if we didn't leave any traces? His only clue is to look and look. <laughs> yeah, hey! I don't get it. That gives me a good idea. I'll use our friend Luke and have a few laughs doing it. Make sure the little squirt doesn't get into trouble. Ah! All of our personnel are beyond reproach, and as to the idea of outwitting our system, ha <laughs> ha! Why don't you just come have a look for yourself? Your famous Colt 45 will have to sit this one out, Mr. Luke. You watch my sidearm, boy. This looks like the perfect time to catch 40 winks. Guten Tag. I'm the assistant to Mr. Luke. Yikes! A Dalton. Huh, I see Mr. Luke's dog knows you well. We're guarding the fastest Colt 45 in the West. It's high time I gave it a good cleaning. You know what's behind his quick draw? It's olive oil. But shh, it's a secret. I didn't see nothing. Mmm, I'd sure love one of those candies. Well, I'm off. No need to tell him I was here. And he mustn't know I told you his secret. I don't know nothing. Say, you remind me of someone. Yeah? I'm often told I'm a ringer for Billy the Kid. <laughs> if you say so, fella. I want to know when Luke will get out of prison. I assure you, you won't find whoever helped the Daltons escape at Look and Lock. But somebody cracked the system. Ah, your sidearm, sir. Give me some sugar. New grab for Mr. Um, uh, Luke. The Daltons stop have just held stop up a bank at Cactus Junction stop. Well, for once, I'm glad to hear it. Didn't you just leave? My boss lost one of his spurs while he was here. A piece of bone cake. Here it is! What do you mean the Daltons never held up your bank? Well, uh, not lately, anyway. You mean they've escaped? Someone sprung them, and that someone's lead me on a wild goose chase. If you run into the Daltons, remind them about me. After all, if your bank isn't worth being held up, it ain't worth much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was rich! Luke's <laughs> gonna be tearing his hair out! If you're so clever, Admiral, how come you can't get rid of Luke once and for all? Give me time, short stuff, give me time! <laughs> I blasted his gun with oil! And one more surprise! We own Fort Knox! Oh, that fountain of gold is as good as... <laughs> I'm starved. They wanted to lead me away, but from what? It's trickier dealing with smart Daltons than with dumb Daltons, huh, cowboy? Let's turn back. Why in the world are you sniffing my gun? Give me sugar! All right! 
right, who's the boss? You're the boss, Joe. You're right there. Let's hear from Genius Boy. Two plus two. Uh, you got me, Joe. Two and two. Three? You're wrong. Uh, one? You idiot. <laughs> no. Four. Not even close. Now listen up. Following my superior lead, we will once again plunder Rob and Pillage. But... Me and Will put all our hope in Avril here. Fort Knox and the Mountain of Gold. Uh -huh. We gotta recharge him. Just long enough to hold up Fort Knox. We need a storm. The Daltons have surfaced again. And this time for real. Another friendly visit to a bank, I suppose? They kidnapped an Indian shaman. The plot thickens. Huh? Give me sugar. Get cracking and bring on a good storm now, complete with lightning. Morose Moose only does the rain dance when Morose Moose wants to. Uh, make it rain, or the blows are gonna rain on you! Uh, Morose Moose hates getting beaten up, but in order to dance, I have to have a good beat. They appeared, they kidnapped the shaman, and that's all there was to it? That's all? It's plain to see it wasn't the Paleface's shaman that got dragged off. Morose Moose wasn't just one of your everyday all-purpose shamans. He was a specialist who knew how to control the clouds. A rainmaker? Rain, hail, sleet, snow, hurricanes on command, thunder and lightning optional, and he always clears it up before a holiday weekend. That's, uh, very impressive. If the four pale faces don't return Moros Moose, there'll be big thunderclouds on the horizon. Now, Chief, don't go getting on your high horse. I'll get your shaman back for you. Come on, where's the rain? The beat's way off. I'm afraid you'll have to settle for the dance of the rotten yams. Oh, I think you're a fraud, fella. Morose Moose is not only no fraud, but he knows how to turn a pale face into a maggot. Oh, forget it. Who needs you? The dog detects wild turkey. Could he be right? No, Renton Dumb. It is not a turkey. It is an Indian. Giant turkey! <laughs> so the Dalton set you free. What did they want? They wanted lightning. For free. Lightning? What in the world for? Most people ask for it when they're having trouble lighting the barbecue. And did they get lightning or not? No, because like the proverb says, if you can't get the rhythm right, you ain't getting the fire to light. What we need here is he said liquidy. Electraxin. You know the stuff that's in Latin. If you find some lightning, could you hit my soup? I don't know if he's worse smart or dumb. Sometimes when you hit your head, it goes blue. Kinda like lightning. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Daltons! The Daltons! Did they rob you? What? No! They asked me to give them some electricity... Uh, electric... Uh, you know, the stuff that's in lightning. Uh-huh. So it's electricity that they're after. I tell you, your dog can teach you a thing or two about rhythm. That's weird. I could swear I hear drumming. With a beat like that, bringing down lightning is a walk in the park. And one, two, one, two, three. Yeah. Ah. Uh, see you around, boys. A little refreshment is in order.
Why, that's the cleverest dog I ever seen. It sounds crazy, but it appears electricity has a peculiar effect on some brains. Rin Tin Dum, do you, uh... Yes, and you needn't worry. You want to find the Daltons? Just follow me. If only this dummy weren't so darn dumb, he could tell us how we could make him smart. What a dumb remark. Uh, you, you think when we get to Brain Valley, we'll find someone who's invented a machine to make some, uh, lightning? Did you hit your head, William? Start it up. Oh, boy. Is this gonna make me intelligent again? Hold on, Avril. We want to make sure this machine is gonna work. I'll try first since I'm the boss. Okay, Joe. What's the plan for busting into Fort Knox? Get over here, Avril. Whoa! He may have a swelled head, but his brains are all in his nose. I assure you, Equus, following a scent is no mere sniffing. It involves intricate discernment and deductive reasoning. I seem to have lost you. I think I liked him better before. If I figured right, Avril is now leading the Daltons. I wonder how that's sitting with Joe. Go ahead and sulk all you want. I'm only letting you come along if you promise to do exactly what I tell you. I want that gold. And you'll have some if you behave. They're not here. Pardon? Don't shoot me. They stole a cart as well as my electricity machine, and they went that way. And they left tracks. You see, intelligence differentiates the superior canine from the vulgar equine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To Fort Knox, on the double. Fort Knox, the biggest piggy bank in the world. <laughs> Can you get us in? And the guards? No, not in the head! Code 4018722200. General Assembly of All Guards in Meeting Hall number 22. If we had guns, we could have shot every last one of them. No! Or we could do have. Whoa! Come on, Slowpoke. Time's a wasting. It's called the Gallop. This is where the steed has it all over the mud. Let me out of here! Let me out of here! You open this door! Come on, let's get it! Tight space! The gold is ours! Oh, you cutie pie! Oh no, snap out of it! Pump, boys! Now I know how come Avril insisted we bring the machine! Well, well, looky there. Pathetic. I feel strange, as if I'd sneezed. Move! Open it! I've died and gone to heaven! <laughs> Woo! Woo no! Please not now! What was your plan for loading up the cart with the gold, huh? Tell me! It's party in here. All sparkly, huh? Oh, boys! Looks like a storm's brewing. It stopped working! It stopped working! What stopped working, Joe? We'll just do it by hand. Mm-hmm. Doing things the old-fashioned way. What's the use of a super brain if your legs can't keep up? <sighs> Work faster! I got a load here! 
Okay, fellas, party's over. Uh, hey, Joe, how come we didn't steal any guns? Because, you doofus, don't you know that's the surest way in the world of getting ourselves caught? Well, that's dumb. Apple's a genius! Oh, at last, at last, the moment I've waited for! Hey! I'm holding back my tears. Avril said something about a surprise. It's caramel. What a good idea. <laughs> All right, who's the only genius in the family? You, you know, know it's, it's you, you, Joe. Would you care to match wits with me, Equus? Oh, it's chocolate! He would have creamed you, pal. <coughs> I beg to differ. White chocolate, too. You gotta love it. <laughs> <laughs>